Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, still believing in the most peaceful revolution ever existed in Bitcoin, of course. Today, a short TA update. It's Tuesday. Normally, I don't do TA on Tuesday, but today I do because yesterday I didn't. Something like that. There's a sip of my coffee. Hmm. And then we jump into some really cool charts, uh, one or two charts, really interesting to see. I haven't showed them before and also showing you what a $1 million Bitcoin would look like on the charts. Now let's quickly jump into the video, uh, into the first chart over band here. Like you're used from me, um, starting with a four hour chart, guys, always start with a four hour chart. I don't know why I just like it. The four hour chart, we can see um that we are trying to break a 28k level you know that we are fighting uh, like one two three four five six seven eight nine candles already um the bollinger band is uh, contracting again so it's becoming smaller and thinner and mostly when that happens there will be an explosive move like over here they came to each other and then bam went up over here very tight bam we went down so every time when it happens when we go like tight in this Bollinger Band, there will be a huge breakout somewhere. So this is lo logical what is happening over now. Uh, the Bam Bam indicator is doubting that we can see over here. There's green and yellow already for a long time. Whenever it's green and yellow, that's not like a valid moment for me to trade the market because the market is doubting and I'm out at that point. So when it becomes fully green or fully blue, and um, that is the moment that you should be trading on the short term time frames in my opinion using the bam bam indicator if we would be able to break that level of 28k guys yes 30k and even 34 to 35k are in the, in the picture in my opinion now um, let's uh, go to a very uh, interesting chart this one the Gaussian channel we have been uh, talking about this chart already for a very long time uh, and now we can see something very important happening on that Gaussian channel and the Gaussian channel to be very clear is a five day chart a five day chart means every candle is five days if we go back in history every time when these candles started to come above that red area above the red Gaussian channel, like over here in the corner, um, that is the moment that the Gaussian channel, channel almost turns green and that is very bullish because that's the bull market. Here again, bear market, Gaussian channel turning red, over there popping out and then it took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more candles for the Gaussian channel to turn green. Seven candles is 35 days. That's a full month. So every time when that happens, over here as well, when we pop above it, bullish. Now we can see, if we zoom in now, that very unexpectedly we pushed the market up massively with a huge push. Uh, we are now above that one almost. This candle is going to close in 18 hours and 50 five minutes and if that candle in 18 hours closes above that Gaussian channel in my opinion it's a very important close and then the next five day candle will start to open and if that one also closes above the Gaussian channel guys we are in for some bullishness and yes 34 to 35k then is not even difficult in my opinion to reach if we will close above this one the moment we say above it look that's the moment bam you get huge runs in the Bitcoin price when we say above it, bam, huge run in the Bitcoin price. So very positive over there. Now, then we have the Bitcoin Power Law Bottom Finder. Uh, you can use it to find the bottom and you can also see uh, how we could develop in the future in the price. Let's zoom out. That's more clear for you then. So um, if you have this indicator on your chart, uh, we can see like we are always moving in that band. So to the, the red top, to the green bottom, red top, green bottom, you know, red top, 2017, green bottom. And we come back to the midline over there and we find some support around that bottom and then we go up. We didn't find the red top, but probably we didn't find it because we had a double top, distribution top, not a blow off top. A blow off top would have reached that because then all the volume of these two tops would be in one top. Now we was spread about two tops because, and that is probably why we didn't reach the top. But again, finding that bottom. And yes, we came down below it. We went back up this was the FTX crash of course that we saw over there and we are again around that bottom now going up now um, the resistance at the top is at 576 percent so that's all the way here at 180k 
Uh, this one over here, the center, is at 80% plus, so that would be around the 50k level. If we push that, that would be an 80% run, and the support now is 20% lower. So if you are into um, organizing your risk and reward, then you can see the risk at the moment is losing 17%, the reward could be 80%, and in the long-term run, all the way to 25 September, August, and my opinion, when the bull and top will be there, we can even take it all the way up to 180k. Very beautiful chart. Now you might ask, um, Didi, but uh, I started to invest at 50k and 60k. No, I started even to invest at the ultimate top of the Bitcoin bull run. That was at 69k. So I bought the complete bull run top. So how long do I need to wait before I'm in profit? Now. I have been telling you already for years that dollar cost average is a very beautiful way of accumulating bitcoins, buying bitcoins at every level, every level, every level. Not only at 70, not, not only at 70k, but also at 50k and at 40k and at 30k, and at 15k, and now again at 25k. You keep buying bitcoin all the time. And what does that do to your portfolio? I'm going to show you that really beautifully now in this chart over here. Bam! That somebody who started to buy ten dollars here in the left corner worth of bitcoin every day and i would do that for two years from the moment that we had an all-time high november 2021 i think it was exactly 11 november uh, or 10 november 21 that we had the all-time high but if you start to accumulate on that date so you buy your first ten dollar worth of bitcoin at the bitcoin price of 70k and would you would have done that for two years and at the moment you would have invested five thousand sixty dollar which would have a value of $4,368 now. So you would only be down with 13.6%. At least that is what this website is showing you. There's another tweet that I saw today that's saying that you're 10% up, but I think this site was not, is not accurate from the 1st of March. It will take till the end of March um, for it to um, adjust all the prices of Bitcoin and then calculate it again. But you can see that even if you have dollar cost average from the ultimate top, of the latest bull run you would still only be in minus 10 percent can you imagine what will happen to your portfolio now in the next bull run yes that will go massively up in value you will make a shitload of profit because your dollar cost averaged into the price and that is what dollar cost averaging means now you can do this yourself you can play around with the tool dcabtc.com um, now let's quickly jump in two more really cool charts that you need to see today bam this is the first one uh, this one i promised you this is how it would look if bitcoin goes to 1 million in the next 90 days i think you all know by now that there was a crazy bet done by a guy who said okay bitcoin will go to one million dollar within 90 days of course it's not because bitcoin is only increasing of course it's also because the dollar is crashing so if the dollar crashes in value you need more dollar to buy one bitcoin and people start to people did ask me yesterday but what, how does that work how does that work now it's the same like a uh, thai baht the thai baht is volatile at the moment one bitcoin will give me about a million thai baht now let's see let's say that the dollar crashes to thai baht values that means that then at that moment one million dollar would also be equal to uh, one million Thai baht, but also to one Bitcoin. Because the Bitcoin calculated in, for example, euros is still 28k euros. So that is how it works. People just don't believe that that could happen to the dollar. That's a completely different story. That people don't believe that the dollar can crash like the Venezuelan Bolivar or like a Turkish Lira or like any other currency in the world that people don't believe that it can happen. That's something different. I do believe that can happen, and if that happens, then yes, one Bitcoin could easily go to one million US dollar per Bitcoin. And that is how we look on the chart, so yeah, uh, TA-wise, it's not like a very healthy chart, uh, but that's how it will look in the next 90 days, such a run, bam, all the way up to Bitcoin, one million dollar. Uh, prices now um, the next chart that I want to share with you is Sam this one over here uh, This one shows you the Bitcoin drawdowns from all-time high from the previous all-time high uh, And we can see um, that the thing that we are doing now is not that crazy You know the first time we had a drawdown of 94% then of 87% then of 84% 
and now of 78%. So the drawdowns are decreasing because the market becomes less volatile and because also the top are less explosive. We don't have these massive bull runs anymore, like the ones of the first and the second bull run, but we don't have those massive drawdowns anymore as well. So yes, it's just a normal number to have a 78% drawdown. Now, and we see the numbers on the bottom here from 32 to $2, amazing. If you would have bought over there, yeah, 1200 all around, uh, 1200 to yeah, 150 dollar 20k to 3k and the last time was 70k to 15.4k beautifully if you listened to me and watched all my videos and bought around that greenish area that i've been telling you to buy all the time now then the last chart is bam this one uh, this one is contradicting what i just showed you this chart is contradicting what i'm saying i said you were minus 13 percent if you had dollar cost average i saw this one in a tweet and this one is saying no you would be 10 percent in the plus you would have been buying bitcoin since the top all the way till where we are now so the average cost basis would be that blue line the price you stay close is the red line so you would be above the average cost base at the moment uh, which would mean you would have a positive return about 10 percent at the moment so you would be in profit if you started um, accumulating bitcoin every day DCA strategy since November 10th in 2021. Now, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video and all the information and all the charts. And if you're still doubting what to do, if you're still waiting for 12K, don't do that. Just buy Bitcoin every time until the halving. It's April 24. We will go sideways and up and down to 35k, maybe back to 20k, to 25k, to 30k, back to 20. We can see all these movements happening, still halving. But from that moment of the halving, I expect another explosive bull run again. At least if the dollar doesn't crash, because then again, yes, you will be able to sell one Bitcoin for one million US dollar. But again, the disadvantage then is that you can't buy shit for that one million US dollar because then also all the prices of the luxury stuff that you want to buy uh, would require a shitload of millions of US dollars to be able to buy it and thus also we should know the bitcoins to be able to buy it and so it won't change a lot to your buying power but it will show change a lot to your portfolio as then yes if you have 10 bitcoins then you will have 10 million US dollar at that moment now uh, that was everything for today uh, if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment let me know what you think about the price and everything else that's happening at the moment thank you for watching see you tomorrow again and bam <laughs>